like a pencil from down in the main salon where you are watching from, the main salon. I think it'll look better to have just the wiring aft. I've still got lots of room uh, that I can, if I want to go through hall or through uh, the cockpit area here so I can run a wire. I'm going to mark the two top holes right now, and uh, then I'm just going to make a small pilot hole, very small, something much smaller than the actual screw, but just something for it to get started in. It helps to, it, that'll help keep uh, you from like cracking any of the gel coat on your on your boat on the fiberglass. Remember to take your time. All right, once you've got that, make sure you use stainless steel hardware whenever possible. And I'm using a number eight beveled screw here, Phillips head, uh, as well as a, a fender. Get it where it's snug. Alright, well that's looking pretty good. Still has room here for making a wire way if I'd like. Coming down to a battery. I like to use small batteries because, well, just age-wise, it's much easier for me to lift, first off. And being a small boat, uh, you have to worry about how much weight you're putting into it and still have room for company. I've been a boater for many years in my younger days down in Florida. Had, uh, well, let's see. Three different sailboats, all the way up to 40 feet, and uh, lots of experience on living aboard. I miss it, but you know, I'm trying to get back to it here. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and finish up securing. Our solar panel to the starboard aft cockpit area of our boat and uh, then our next step would be to just wire it in to a battery here in the cockpit so we can check it show you how it works